hey, Heather, I'm moving to the Raleigh area and I'm trying to understand the Wake County public school system. What? Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, this is the Raleigh Realty Mom, Heather Taylor Petrovich, and today I'm going to simplify the Wake County public school system for you. It's true, I'm gonna do it. Before we get started, let me just mention that I'm not going to go down every single rabbit hole that exists in the Wake County public school system. Instead, I'm going to give you a high level overview of how the system works so you can understand where your child will be going to school and what options they might have beyond that. In order to simplify, I am going to first discuss calendar options and give you an understanding of how that works, followed by base schools and application schools, and finally, I'll wrap up by navigating the Wake County Public School System website with you so that you know where and how to get the information you need. All right, you ready? Let's get this party started. Wake County Public Schools offers several different calendar options. The two most popular of which are traditional calendar and year-round calendar. Traditional calendar is probably what you grew up with. You know, you go to school all year, and then it's summer, woo, you're off, you're swimming in the pool, life is grand. Year round is exactly as it sounds. The kids go to school all year round. They go for nine weeks, they're off for three weeks, they go for nine weeks, they're, uh, you see a pattern here. Before we leave our discussion on calendar options, I do want to mention that most high schools are on a traditional schedule. There isn't a true year round option for high schools, but there is one other calendar that I do wanna bring up and that is the modified calendar, which is kind of like taking the year round calendar and the traditional calendar and squishing them together. There are some high schools that offer that option, but traditional calendar is the most common for high schools. Let's move on to part two, understanding base schools versus application schools. Every address in Wake County is assigned a base school. This is the school your child will be attending if you make no changes. Your base school can be either a traditional calendar or a year round calendar. And from your base school, you have three different types of schools that you can apply to. Let me interrupt right here. Yes, there are a lot of different schools that you can apply to in Wake County, but that does not guarantee acceptance to any of them. So make sure wherever you end up living, you're comfortable with the base school you're assigned to. The first one is the opposite calendar of whatever your base school is. So if your base school is a traditional calendar and you would prefer to go to a year round school, there is a year round school assigned to your address as well. So you can apply to be transferred to the year round school assigned to your address. The second type of school that you can apply to is a magnet school. Now I could do an entire video on magnet schools. My children attended a magnet elementary school. Each magnet school has a designated specialty. So it may be um, engineering, it may be leadership, it may be foreign language. There's a whole bunch of magnet schools. They are chosen by a lottery system uh, and you will have several different magnet school options to choose from, again, based on your address. And the third type of school that you can apply to is an early college school. Early college schools offer high school students the opportunity to gain college credits, some as much as an associate's degree, during their time in high school. Now, early college schools require an actual application and acceptance. So, to recap, you are assigned a base school. Your base school may be traditional or year-round. You have three different types of schools that you can apply to if you don't want to attend your base school. You can apply to the opposite calendar year. You can apply to a magnet school or you can apply to an early college school. And that is the general overview. Now there's also charter schools. We're not going to get into charter schools. Charter schools are not county based, but I will provide a link in the description of this video below to all the charter schools in the state. Okay, let's dive into the website. This website is really robust. There is a ton of information on here. So let's just start by navigating to the enrollment link in order to find out our base school. On this link, you will see that there is all kinds of information about enrolling your student. The first thing you're going to know is going to need to know is what is your base school? because it will actually require you to show up at your base school in order to finish your enrollment. Um, 
So let's take a look. If you go to this address lookup tool, and I will provide a link for this in the description below this video, it will take you to this page where you are going to look up the address you want to know about. So I'm gonna pick Charlemagne, an old address I used to live at. Then it will ask you the street number. And you can choose what year you wanna look at the assignment for. Let's just stick with this year to be easy. And here we have the base schools assigned to 112 Charlemagne Court, Cary for the 2019-2020 school year. So you'll see the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school. You have the name of the school and then the calendar. This is a traditional calendar. And you can go to the website if you'd like. And down the right-hand side, you have the transportation options. Base schools will provide neighborhood busing. That means your student will be picked up in the neighborhood. Now, if you want to know what other schools you can apply to from this address, you click this view application schools and boom, there are a ton of options. Across the top, you have your elementary schools, your middle schools, and your high schools. Beginning here at elementary, as we look down the side, you see there are a lot of magnet school options. And underneath the magnet, it will tell you what type of magnet school it is. And to the right, the different types of transportation that are available. Um, express busing means that there is a spot in your town somewhere that the bus will pick up and drop off students. So you will be required to transport them to that express busing location. As you scroll down a little bit further here, you will come to this school, which is the opposite calendar option for this address. When you get over to high schools, you will see not only magnet schools, but early colleges. Now, if you are thinking, okay, we want to go ahead and make a transfer, how do we do that? Wake County provides you with this link right here. And you can learn all about changing your school. These sections below will give you very valuable information. As you drill down through these links, you're going to find all the information you need on applying, how you could be accepted, when to apply, when to apply, transportation, and so on. So it's very helpful information here on the website. All right, y'all, that wraps it up. If you found the information helpful and you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube, my YouTube channel, click the subscribe link below. I would really appreciate it. Whew, until next time, bye-bye.